Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Stuff Matters, exploring the marvelous materials that shape our man-made world. Materials are ubiquitous in our life. They form the mugs we drink from, the pens we write with, our clothes, and the buildings where we live. It is hard to imagine what our life would be like without materials. Materials are not inanimate. They are a living part of our world. We transform materials, and in turn materials make us who we are. But have you ever wondered what secrets are behind these substances? When we write, how does paper retain the words? Why are ceramic utensils easy to clean? Why does a stainless steel spoon not leave a taste in the mouth? How do these materials alter our daily lives and shape our modern world? Stuff Matters answers these questions. The book tells the stories of 10 widely used materials over time and across cultures through innovations in technology and molecular science. This book is a New York Times bestseller. Since its publication, it has gained multiple awards and prizes. To name just a few, in 2014, it featured in the New York Times list of 100 best books, won both the Royal Society's Prize for Science Books and was a Physics World Book. In 2016, it won the Wenjin Book Award for Popular Science and was included among the 50 most popular books in China's nationwide reading project. The author Mark Miodovnik is a professor of materials and society at University College London. He is a fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering. The Times nominated him as one of the UK's 100 most influential scientists. He is popular as a TV presenter for many science and engineering programs, including BBC Two's The Genius of Invention. With two friends, he built a material library amassing more than a thousand fabulous materials from all over the world. This bookie will introduce 10 common materials encountered in our daily lives. They include steel, paper, carbon, ceramic, concrete, glass, polyurethane foam, plastic, biological implants, and chocolate. We will investigate the molecular structures of these materials and reveal their stories. Let's start with the story of a seemingly mundane material, steel. Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. Therefore, to talk about steel, it is necessary to take a brief look at iron at first. Iron is everywhere in our world. But do you know where it originally comes from? Iron's arrival on Earth is unbelievable. Of course, Earth has some natural sources of iron, but most of it has fallen from outer space in the form of meteorites. Speaking of meteorites, perhaps none is more familiar with them than the Lajic family. Radivok Lajic's family lives in northern Bosnia. Between 2007 and 2008, their home was hit by meteorites no fewer than five times. Statistically, the probability of this happening is immeasurable. Scientists have studied the magnetic fields around the house to try to find an explanation, but the reason remains a mystery. While meteorite strikes are unusual for a single building, they are common for our planet as a whole. Actually, throughout the whole span of its history, Earth has been impacted by countless meteorites. These meteorites have brought with them plenty of iron. We can honestly say that most of the iron on Earth is actually pennies from heaven. At the atomic level, spaces in the crystal lattice of iron are large enough to accommodate other atoms. When carbon atoms squeeze themselves into these spaces, they bond with the iron atoms to form the alloy known as steel. To better understand the structure of steel, imagine its crystalline structure as an audience packed into a cinema. The crystalline arrangement of the iron atoms is analogous to the arrangement of the seats. The iron atoms themselves are like people sitting in the seats. The carbon atoms are equivalent to little kids sitting on some of the people's laps. These little kids do not take up extra seats, but they make it difficult for the people they are sitting on to get up and move around. The carbon atoms crammed into the iron's lattice stop their movement in the same way. The harder it is for the particles to move, the less the crystal structure can change its shape, hence the alloy is stronger. Steel is an incredibly strong and hard material. Throughout human history, steel has played a significant military role. Archaeologists unearthed nearly a million nails made of iron and steel buried by a Roman legion in AD 89. 